it's like I had been struggling with my shins for like so long and I was just like I don't know what's wrong with them like I did like all the things I knew you could do for shin splints but nothing really seemed to work and yeah I was really lucky that he knew about it because I feel like a lot of times like I go to a doctor's appointment and you just have to tell them like what surgeries you've had and I like will explain it and they're like honestly I've never even heard of that so I'm just like yeah (laughs) it's really nice that like the one person that like I relied on in that situation knew exactly like what to kind of point to so. Um, I've played soccer like almost my whole life and I think starting in high school um, I just like would always have shin splints or so I thought and um, it wasn't like bad enough to the point that it like prevented me from playing at all but then once I got to college um, I played at Ferris State University and it honestly just like got a lot worse. I don't know if it was maybe just like the demand of college soccer versus like what I was used to in high school or just like overuse or something. But um, I just kind of like talked to our athletic trainer about it and he had some experience with people who had compartment syndrome in the past. So he like just um, got me hooked up with a doctor in Grand Rapids who was familiar with testing for compartment syndrome so then I did like the pressure testing in my shins both I think that I think I did all four compartments in my shins and did and then ran on the treadmill for about 15 minutes and then got them tested again and uh, so then he diagnosed me based off of those readings with compartment syndrome And I got my first surgery. So I think that was in like November of 2017. And then I think it was about like four months recovery and I was back to playing soccer. And honestly, like the first year after that surgery, they felt great. Like I didn't really have any major issues. Um, But then back in, just like back in 2019, I kind of, It was my senior season at Ferris, and I kind of started experiencing, like, similar symptoms to what I did when I first got diagnosed with compartment syndrome. So then um, I kind of went through the whole process again, like, got tested. They said it's rare for it to, like, reoccur after one fasciotomy, but it happened to me, so... (laughs) I had to get the surgery again, and I got that this past, like, summer. I think it was May of 2020. 